Hey guys, it is me, Everything Apple Pro. I wanted to talk to you guys about a side of updating iOS 10 not many people talk about, and that's battery life. So iOS 10 is in its first beta, obviously. It's not promised to be good. It's not meant to be used as an everyday firmware, but a lot of people do. And as I can tell by my uh, how to install it video, I can see a lot of people did install it and are actively enjoying it. But how's the battery life? Over the last couple of days, I've been running a whole bunch of tests on you know every single device, and not just one, I wanted to get an accurate result. So I ran a battery test on iOS 9.3.2, then updated to iOS 10 on two devices. And this is every single iPhone right now that currently supports iOS 10. So I wanna show you my results, what I got. Is the battery life worse? Is it better? Just a little test for you, that's all. Okay, so starting with my iPhone 6S, I actually have all of the results in my Geekbench, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So this is on iOS 10. I've got a 20, 186 score, three hours and 38 minutes. Now, the way I did this test was having the brightness halfway. The screen was not dimmed during the test. It was sitting exactly at 50%. All of these devices were exactly the same. So they were sitting in airplane mode with Wi-Fi connected and Bluetooth was off. Okay, so on iOS 9, we had 2195, 2186. So there was a slightly lower performance in battery life on iOS 10. So what was it like? Literally less than a minute. So the score is almost the same. And that's a good thing because if you were thinking this battery life was gonna get worse in iOS 10, it really isn't so far. Let's try it on the other 6S. So here's the other 6S I tested this on. So on iOS 9, 2115 score, 331. iOS 10, I did get 2110. So literally almost the exact same result. There was almost no difference in battery drain. iPhone 6S Plus, 2981 on iOS 10. And on iOS 9, let's see what we got. So a little bit higher here, actually more of a difference on the 6S Plus. I got a little over five hours here, just a little bit under, but hey, that's like three minutes difference. Not a big deal. So iPhone 6S Plus number two, this is on iOS 9, I got over six hours. That's crazy, 38.53 previously on iOS 10. Wow, so again, not much of a difference, but it is behind by just a little bit. iPhone 6, let's see the score. And this is on iOS 10, 1883, so just a little over three hours. And the last one on iOS 9, whoa, so this one actually improved, 1815 versus 1883 in iOS 10. Improved life on the iPhone 6, not bad. iPhone 6 number two, so on iOS 9, 1836 was a score. And these are pretty consistent with each other with uh, the different models. And previously, 1798 on iOS 10. So a little bit lower on iOS 10, but not by much. So here are my iPhone SE models in iOS 10, 3031, 2790, and let's go to iOS 9. The scores are lower here on iOS 9, 2945, 2761, while those were crossing into the 3000 territory over here. But again, not by much. So here is my iPhone 5S on 9.3.2, 1650, 1705. Now this one actually grew to 1731. Pretty damn impressive. Over here, I actually did get a lower score slightly, but again, not by much. iPhone 5 on 9.3.2, 1821, 1850. And over here, I got 1852, so it did go up just a little bit. And over here, so yeah, that is the result of my battery test. This did take a lot longer than just showing you these results, but I gotta say, it's pretty damn good. Like if you were holding off and updating to a beta just because you were concerned about the battery life, I wouldn't be. I mean, it looks like it's pretty much the same across the board, maybe like a two to 3% deviation across all devices, but it's nothing to really be concerned about. It's the speed, even that's really not that bad. But if you guys want to install iOS 10, it's certainly doable. I, I've been running it for, you know, on all these devices, I've been trying it out, not too buggy. As far as betas go, this one's pretty dang stable compared to past releases. So it could certainly be run as a daily, but I wouldn't, you know, personally, I, I don't touch this stuff because I treasure my memories, my moments too much. And you know, I back it up and everything. I just hate having to deal with crashes and stuff, but hey, everybody's comfortable with different things. So my consensus is battery life is good in iOS 10, even better in some cases on some devices. So thanks so much for watching guys. I'll have more for you soon. Peace.